10 secrets you miss in the Paw Patrol the movie trailer. Paw Patrol, one of the most famous kid television series of this decade, mainly because of the great storyline and original episodes of the series. But before I get into this, guys, come on, 10,000 subs, oh my god, I can't believe this! Thank you so much for subscribing and showing support to the boy J. I'm not gonna disappoint you, I swear to god, thank you so much. Be sure to join the DJ crew. Paw Patrol is a hooking television series that makes every kid love it as soon as they watch it for the first time or a few episodes into the series. Paw Patrol is a Canadian Canadian computer animated television series created by the British writer and producer Keith Chapman, who is also the creator of other great kids series like Bob the Builder and many others. Paw Patrol revolves around the life and daily adventures of a young boy called Ryder. In the first episode of the series, Ryder is eager to buy and have a pet, so he asks his parents to buy him a cute little dog. They go to the pet store, and after looking for a couple of pets, he noticed a very, very sad puppy. So he asks him why is he sad, obviously not expecting a response from the dog. <laughs> and long story short, the puppy responds to Ryder and tells him not to tell anyone that he can talk. He brings his parents with him and tells them to buy him that puppy. They buy him the puppy and he names him Chase. From this point on, all the episodes following this one will focus on Ryder finding new puppies, adopting them, and slowly starting to form a family of puppies that will become the Paw Patrol. This family will go from a normal puppy family having fun with its owner to forming a patrol that saves the city from outside dangers. The life of Ryder will go from being a normal kid to a superhero who saves the city with his Paw Patrol. But now, in this summer, the creators have made and will be releasing Paw Patrol the movie, yes. But hey, don't worry because this doesn't mean that the series is over, no. The series is still up and running and you can enjoy both pieces of the pie. The series and the movie. How cool is that, dudes? Come on. The movie will focus on the villainous acts of their main rival, Humdinger. When Humdinger becomes the mayor of Adventure City, the city turns into chaos and nothing is what it once was. No one feels safe anymore and Humdinger is making a fortune. Here, Ryder and his Puppy Patrol will face Humdinger face to face and try to remove him from his mayor position. But there are many things you've definitely missed in the trailer of Paw Patrol the movie, guys. Things that don't appear obvious in the beginning and you have to look at with a magnifying glass to actually pick up on, like you know I do, guys. So without further ado, let's get straight into the things you missed in the trailer of Paw Patrol the the movie. Let's go. In the new Paw Patrol movie, mostly everything that has to do with the characters will change, yes. Mainly because the creators wanted to give off an impression of maturity in the characters, and also because in every animated movie, the directors like to add famous people in there to get free promotion for the movie. And because of this, the voices of almost all the characters you know will change, yes. Yeah. Sadly enough, I know, but just to clarify, mostly all of the character voices have changed at some point during the change of seasons. And you might have noticed this, but so you know who is voicing who. In the Paw Patrol movie, Ryder will be voicing voiced by Will Brisbane, a change from Beckett Hapkiss, who used to voice him in the seventh season. Then, Gus the Railway Pup will be voiced by none other than Tyler Perry, yes. Marty Mottracker, the TV host in a movie trailer, will be voiced by a TV host that you probably might have never heard of. You know, he's not known to be honest, but his name is Jimmy Kimmel, yes, <laughs> I'm kidding. Like I said, directors do this to promote the film by adding famous celebrities to serve as a promotion themselves. Both celebrities have shared their happiness online to be able to work on this project. At least it's good because they're making these changes to make the movie be better, so great. Now, speaking of changes, we actually have a few in the Paw Patrol movie set. New characters are coming in. Characters that a loyal Paw Patrol fan saw and probably was like, huh, I've never seen that character in the series before. It must be that they're introducing new characters. Yep, that's because there are new additions into the movie to make it different from the series. One of these new characters that we could see in the trailer is Dolores. This character is portrayed as a flamboyant and rich female dog that looks like some sort of celebrity in the Paw Patrol world. Dolores is a completely new character that we've never seen before in the series. And if you are wondering, she's voiced by none other than Kim Kardashian. Yes, who would have said this? Kim Kardashian will be the voice of this character that looks a lot like her if she'd be a dog in the Paw Patrol world, to be honest. That's where the voice comes from. Apparently, Kim Kardashian was contacted by the Paw Patrol movie team to discuss creating a new character with the traits of a famous influencer, as this would resonate more with the storyline. To what she agreed, and the director shaped the character according to her real-life personality. So yes, a great addition, to be honest. Based on what we've been able to see in the trailer, we already know that the Mayor Humdinger will be the main villain of the Paw Patrol movie. This is seen throughout the whole trailer with his pretentious attitude, where he literally breaks havoc in the city, and Ryder and his Paw Patrol will have to go in the aid and rescue the city from the endeavors of Humdinger. But one thing you probably didn't pick up on is that his outfit is exactly the same as the appearance of the Monopoly mascot, Ridge Uncle Pennybags. 
If you look closely on the outfit, they look exactly the same. The hat, the suit, and the way he acts. And on top of this, in this scene, where Humdinger is giving a speech to the local people, we can see two big heads that look identical to the face of the Monopoly mascot, Rich Uncle Pennybags. It's clear that the directors were heavily inspired by the appearance of the Monopoly mascot, when the Monopoly game is a rich guy who is pretentious, who only cares about money, and because of this, they made him look like him. Right in the second 16 of the second trailer, where the truck driver has an accident, and he drives over the side of the bridge falling into the water, if we pause in this scene in the second 20, if we look closely on the front of the truck, we can see a flag with a red leaf. Well, this is the flag of Canada, and it's not a coincidence that they put it there. This is because the Paw Patrol series is actually a Canadian series and not an American one. It's incredibly popular in the US, but that does not mean that it's American. And it might get mistaken with an American one because the voices are the same in both countries, mainly because they're both English and they have similar accents. The director is British and the series is actually Canadian. We can also see this easter egg in the hat of the truck driver right here in the second 27 of the trailer. The creators wanted to leave a little easter egg to give a little homage to their country. A little secret that you probably didn't notice. Like I said before, there's gonna be a plethora of new characters that are not in the normal series coming into the new Paw Patrol movie. And one of these key characters who was opposed to Kim Kardashian Dolores, who's probably only gonna come up a little bit in the movie, is Liberty. Liberty, as we can see in the trailer, is gonna be one of the main female characters of the movie, since she's the one who calls Ryder and his Paw Patrol to aid the city's bad situation. And we see her a lot on the trailer. Based on what we can see of her in the trailer, she's gonna be the main secondary leader who's gonna guide them and aid the Paw Patrol throughout the movie to be able to stop Humdinger's plans. And because she's gonna be such a key character in the movie, the directors chose none other than Marsai Martin to voice her. Marsai Martin is a popular actress who's known for her roles in series like Blackish and movies like Little. She currently holds six NAACP awards for outstanding support in a comedy series. She has over 2.9 million followers on Instagram, and she will be doing a great job voicing Liberty in the movie, that I'm sure. In the second 47 of the second trailer, we can see that Ryder puts on a helmet with a superhero suit right after getting the news by Liberty that Humdinger was ruining the city. This scene doesn't look like something special if we take it at face value, but if we look closely on the helmet, the suit, and his car, we can see that this scene looks a lot like the movie Speed Racer. Released in 2008, starring Matthew Fox and Emil Hirsch, this movie tells the story of a speed racer who wants to save the family's business by winning a race competition. Now, the movie's aesthetic matches the clothes and appearance of Ryder in this scene. Just look at that. We see that the helmet, the cars, and the overall aesthetic of the movie looks a lot like the movie Speed Racer. Plus, we can see by the trailer and by the previous episodes in the Paw Patrol series that cars are going to be used a lot in this movie. And not any sort of cars, but fast cars. It's not a coincidence, I think they really got inspired by this movie. Now, if you take a close look at the theme of the movie Paw Patrol, and for example, you see the minute 120 of the trailer, we can see a very similar theme to the ending of Avengers Endgame, but obviously adapted to kids. With the sky opening, the chaos breaking in the city, and Ryder and his patrol being the Avengers, fighting the mayor Humdinger's power and forces all together, just like they did in the ending of Avengers Endgame. It's almost certain that they were influenced by the Avengers Endgame to make the premise for the movie. Humdinger is Thanos in the movie, and the Paw Patrol guy are the Avengers ready to save the city from the evil hands of Humdinger. But the sky opening is not the only thing that makes us see that the fight between Humdinger and the Paw Patrol is heavily inspired by the Avengers Endgame. Also, the scene where we see fireworks flying all over the place, this is a clear reference to the rain fire scene of Endgame. But instead of fire, it rains fireworks in the Paw Patrol movie, adapted for kids. There is many references in the trailer about things we see in real life adapted to their puppy world. Like their new headquarters which they create to protect the city, it has a dog footprint, as if it was the headquarters of Google or Amazon in real life, but adapted to their puppy world. And one of these great references to the real world that you probably didn't pick up on is Humdinger's car. Yup, in the minute 106 of the trailer, we see this luxurious car of Mayor Humdinger. This car right here is a clear reference to the real life luxurious car brand, Rolls Royce. Founded in 1904, Rolls-Royce has the most notorious hood ornament ever, a beautiful figure made of stainless steel or sometimes even 24 karat gold that shines through every street it passes by. Well, in the new Paw Patrol scene, the hood ornament is a little puppy, <laughs> you know, a little funny by the way, a great upgrade from the real Rolls-Royce. 
Paw Patrol the movie tells the story of Ryder, a normal kid with a normal life that one day, after looking for a pet to buy, comes across a dog that talks. That's Chase. After Chase, he meets more dogs throughout the whole series and forms a team of puppies to patrol the city and make it safe. This team saves people on a daily basis. They don't lack work, trust me. <laughs> but fast forward to the events of Paw Patrol the movie, the mayor Humdinger, the main villain of the movie and series, does a terrible job at being a mayor and the city is slowly going downhill. Then, the character Liberty comes into scene and calls the Paw Patrol to save the city, to which they respond not with a simple, okay, we're going, but with a whole arsenal of new suits, car, and headquarters to defeat the mayor and save the city. We know from parts of the trailer that they're gonna have a big scuffle together, and we'll still have to see how the movie ends. This amazing movie will come out on August the 20th of 2021, so prepare the popcorn because this movie doesn't only look good, it looks amazing. So don't forget the popcorn, guys. Remember the popcorn. And well, that's all the dose of DJ you get for today, guys. I hope you really liked the video and liked the secrets in the Paw Patrol movie that you probably did not see or notice. Come on, you didn't notice the Monopoly Easter egg. <laughs> don't tell me you did. <laughs> don't lie to me. If you liked the video, don't forget to drop a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one, guys. Peace!